Thomas. Actually, ma'am, with all due respect, it's Judge Dole. And with all due respect, sir, I am not now, nor have I ever been known as Mrs. Dominus. That name can only refer to my late mother-in-law. I'm sorry, ma'am, if I've offended you. I mean only the deepest regard. Then call me by my proper name. I am Lili Ulaloki, but not here the day he come and I call it hot. There hasn't been a monarchy in Hawaii for 24 years. And you are a retired judge, are you not? Is there a purpose to your visit, Mr. Dole, or is this just a social call? I would like to make a peace offering. We are not at war, Mr. That is to say, your honor. The country is. Which country? Yours or mine? Our country. The one you and your missionary boys took from me. Have you been making mischief since I entrusted you with it? America is at war. Oh, that country. The bastion of Western civilization that lies more than 2,000 miles east of us. The whole world is at war. I do read the newspapers. Young men are giving their lives for our freedom. These are young Hawaiian men. These were once your people. They are still my people. And I am their moi bagine, and I will be until my dying breath. What do you want of me? Some token of support. Support? For who? Your Majesty. Blood is being shed. That saddens me. But by what twist of fate have I gone from being accused of treason to being courted for favors? Perhaps a flag could be raised. Whose flag? The Kanekamawali still look upon you as their queen. They look up to you. Sight of any foreign flag floating as a matter of right over any. That part. flag is no longer foreign. When a nation separated from its culture, its heart is broken. <clears throat> Aloha Aina. Love of the land, to us it means a love of the very soil on which our ancestors lived and died. I love Hawaii just as you do, ma'am. But you do not understand it as I do. I speak Olela Hawaii fluently. I'm sure Cecil Rhodes also learned the dialects of his African servants. Leave it with me. I will let you know of my decision in due course. Hello. Mr. Dole. Mr. President, your honor, whatever. After all these years, have you the slightest idea of what that word means? It can mean hello or goodbye. It means so much more than that. There is no English equivalent. It has to be experienced. Miss Douglas, your majesty, I am Hawaiian. That is to say, I was born in Hawaii. Then you should know it is not a word to be trifled. Aloha is my being part of all, and all being part of me. Where there is pain, it is my pain. Where there is joy, it is my joy. Because of aloha, one gives without thought of return. No Hawaiian can greet another with aloha unless he feels it in his own heart. 